Okay, today I am going to show you how to install C-Star ALP from a Smart Telescope Underworld um, onto a Raspberry Pi 400. And then I will show you how to uh, control your C-Star through the simple C-Star control app in a browser. In the Raspberry Pi, I've already installed the Bookworm operating system version of Debian. And, and I've opened up uh, Firefox browser. And I've gone to uh, the GitHub repository under Smart Underworld slash C star underscore ALP. You can get there, of course, by searching C star ALP. Well, I'm on that repository page. I'm going to scroll down to there's a Raspberry Pi install dot MD. So I'm going to click and open that link. And this is basically a uh, bash inst uh, installer script for uh, C star ALP. So I'm going to select this uh, entire line here and make sure that you've got the entire line selected. And I'm going to copy that uh, using control C. And then I'm going to uh, minimize the browser. I'm going to go ahead and open the terminal app. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that line that I just copied from the browser. I will hit return. And you will see that the installer script is running. This, of course, will take a few minutes. It's done. Okay, after the installer is run, you want to make sure that your C star has turned on and has connected to your local network. And then we'll go ahead and open a link in the uh, in the browser to the uh, C Star Simple Control uh, web browser app. Open up the web browser, Firefox in this case, and uh, since my device name is not actually Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to uh, put in an IP address for the Raspberry Pi and include the port 5430. So I'll go ahead and type in the IP address. Colon 54. 30 and hit return and this brings up the simple C star control um, web browser app uh, you can uh, use this of course in a with a monitor off of the Raspberry Pi or you can uh, just access the URL from anywhere on your uh, local network and open up a browser in maybe another machine or tablet or something like that. And so there's a simple C star controller running in um, Firefox on um, this Raspberry Pi 400. Um, we can go through here. We've got the home page, uh, which includes some information about the uh, the C star, and you can see that our C star alpha is connected. Um, you can see the 
balance settings and uh, compass direction, battery, and some, some other things here on that home page. Uh, if we go to the imaging page, it will allow you to actually uh, enter a target and it will be re retrieve the uh, right, um, right ascension and declination uh, coordinates from Simbad. There's also the mosaic tab or page and you can enter a target there and you can also retrieve the RA uh, deck from Simbad in, on this page as well. And then there is the scheduling page, which allows you to add a list um, of targets for a viewing session. And then there is a commands page, which uh, allows you to uh, execute certain commands uh, to the C star. So, for example, you could uh, you can park the scope. Uh, you can reboot the scope. You could shut down the scope. Um, uh, something to note, though, if you do do shut down the scope from a, a simple C star control, is then you'll have to uh, actually restart it at the um, at the C star again. Um, you know, with using the power button. And if we can look at some statistics here, and you can tell how much storage you have left. Uh, and again, this is basically the kind of the same as the uh, home page, and it tells you that my battery's full. I'm pretty well level, and I'm pointing somewhere around 161 degrees. Okay, we'll revisit with another tutorial on actual use of the uh, simple C star control. Uh, Applica web application when we have a dark evening.